So I picked up this uh, version 4 Normcore 58.5 millimeter tamper. You can see the base is not so shiny. The matte finish, um, but it's very precise. It's, uh, it's pretty tight fitting in there. Uh, it comes with clean uh, base to sit in. Uh, on the previous one, I had a version 3 before, and it came with a nicer, uh, it just had like a little padding on the bottom, like a, a fabric uh, absorption type of thing on there. Um, I don't know if it really made a difference. It seems like it's sitting more on the ledge rather than actually touching the base anyway. Um, I'm not sure how I feel not sure how I feel about this yet. I haven't actually used it yet, but it seems like it's very light and loose to push down. Um, and then there's like a hard spring. Um, so if I tamp on nothing, it's just hard to push down. So it feels a lot of resistance from the spring. I don't know if there's like, am I supposed to push down all the way in order to get the 20 or 30 pounds or whatever the spring is calibrated to. Uh, maybe that's how. Actually, maybe we should look at the instructions. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. Uh, the decent, I like this guy because, well, here's, here's one difference. So it has a shiny. Here, let me clean like that off. Yeah, so it's more of a shiny base. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't make a difference, probably. Uh, it still gets coffee stuck to the bottom. I think this one's gonna be the same. Uh, the version three looked the same and it got coffee stuck to the bottom. This is the decent version three. Um, there is a version four, which is supposed to have a different coating which prevents coffee from sticking. Um, so that's a benefit. Um, but as I was saying, oh, the cat wants to talk. Uh, as I was saying, the uh, decent I like because you feel the there is no spring um, there is a spring that goes like that but you can feel there's no weight calibration so you feel all the uh, coffee being compressed and you make sure you you know when it's uh, you know if you're using an, a lower dose and it's not hitting and compressing your puck then you'll know it so you'll feel it with this this one you might be able to with the version 3 you can't really tell um, so I'm hoping version 4 will fix that, so we'll see once I actually use it. Um, yeah, I do notice with the 58.5, the really tight fitting uh, ones that uh, you need to make sure you keep the side sides clean, otherwise it will create a vacuum and it'll be annoying to get in and out. Uh, so yeah, just make it clean. And you shouldn't have a problem. This one I like using because it's you know it's easy. You don't have to worry if it gets a little little coffee grounds on there. Uh, here, let me show you something. I have an accessory I kept from the version three. So the cool thing, cool thing with the uh, version three is it came with a little uh, custom carrying case. Probably not really necessary, but maybe it's just a neat little extra. And the new one seems to fit. Uh, yeah, seems to fit nicely. Yeah, doesn't shake around. Uh, this one just comes in a half kind of protected box with an extra spring. Eh, I guess it's not a problem. Uh, yeah, we've got two extra springs. I think the other one also had two extra springs on version 3, but these springs will actually change the tamping pressure, where in the other one it just changed how uh, when you're pushing down how much resistance it added which is kind of useless because yeah it's kind of like the the decent tamper uh, if you require more force to push down it's not really adding more weight on top of the coffee it just makes it harder for you to push so adding a stiffer spring makes absolutely no sense and that's how version 3 uh, extra springs were on the norm core um, and yeah, that was a problem with the decent tamper as well. Version 2 had a really stiff spring and there's no point for it. It was kind of a poor design decision. Um, 
but this one I like because it's easy to push. This one seems even looser with the default spring. It is super easy to, to push down if, uh, oh, if there's, uh, until there's resistance anyway from the coffee or the table. So yeah, I'll try it out and see how it goes. All right, so here's my messy uh, coffee station. Just want to do a little update for the Norm Core uh, version four. So as you can see, it does have a little uh, coffee static retention, just like any uh, any or most hampers. Uh, so I wasn't sure if the it might it might be a little less sticky. Um, Compared to the decent one that I have, decent version 3, uh, or it could just be a coincidence, or just because it's newer. Um, I do sometimes see coffee stuck to the ledge, but you know what I haven't noticed with using this? I haven't noticed it doing the thing where it gets stuck because it's too tight, so I don't know, I, that happened all the time with the version 3 base, uh, which was 58.5, this is supposed to also be 58.5, uh, precise tight fitting tamper but uh, it hasn't had that issue maybe it's just a coincidence or I got lucky so far um, but I've used it quite a lot in the last week or so um, and yeah I haven't noticed I haven't felt that it gets stuck and it kind of you know creates a vacuum where where you're gonna suck the puck back up after tamping uh, which is what I had with the version 3 quite uh, you know sometimes uh, so I don't know if I made it slightly smaller, I just made like a little design. Um, yeah, so maybe they made it slightly smaller uh, and improved it that way. So that's nice, but uh, I do think I prefer the decent tamper because this one just like it wobbles. I noticed it before I even used it. It feels a little less, maybe because of all the springs in there, feels a little less solid. Um, same with this. This is a cheap uh, Asian brand. I don't know what the brand is, but same idea as the decent tamper. It doesn't have a spring in there, so it's not weight calibrated. I can't even push it down. But you get the full feedback when you push down. You could feel the resistance of the coffee and the coffee being compressed. The spring's actually really tight on this. Um, but it's not too hard to tamp. Um, unlike the the decent version 2 tamper, the older one, that one had a really stiff spring and it just made it a chore, like really hard to press. This one is pretty good to press and it feels more solid. It doesn't doesn't wobble as much. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I like these. They're cheaper. Uh, the norm is good if you want a weight calibrated one. You know, it's, it's a good option. Um, but I prefer the decent one, which is a much more expensive, decent version 3 or version 4. Uh, I haven't tried version 4. The only difference is the uh, on decent version 4 is there's an anti-static kind of coating that's supposed to prevent the uh, prevent the coffee buildup or sticking. Which is nice, because, you know, I usually have to wipe them off every now and then, usually after every use. Um, so yeah. If you want it, if you don't care about weight calibration, these cheap ones are good. Uh, I got a couple for sale actually. Uh, I bought extra, and this is uh, this is for the Euro Picola. Is that how you say it? My lever machine. It's a 51 millimeter, so that's why I have that one and uh, this other one up up here, top of the key, because I'm running low on space. Uh, yeah, both good, both good, just uh, I feel a little less stable with the norm core because of the weight calibration and the extra springs and everything in there. Uh, so I like the decent one, I'm going to switch back to the decent. Uh, I don't know if there's much benefit to the weight calibration as long as you're doing it relatively consistent. The fact that it self levels I think is more important. So. Uh, but some people like the consistency of the spring and, uh, you know, making sure you're not tamping too hard or too light. It's consistent every time, as long as 
the puck depth is, you know, not too shallow and it actually reaches. That's the thing with all these self-leveling tampers, you have a maximum depth that it really is effective for. Uh, so if you're underdosing, you have like a big 20 gram basket or 18 gram basket and you're only putting 14 grams in, it's probably not going to work at all. Uh, I've done it with like 16 and 18 gram basket and I think that worked okay, but any lower than that you're probably going to run into problems. So just something to note.